Crypto friends, in our previous session, we discussed about the introduction of GST and the process of collecting GST. Today, in this session, we'll go through some practical scenario and learn the computation of GST on products. Here is a scenario: a shopkeeper is selling a TV for taxable value of rupees thirty thousand. GST charge on TV is twenty eight percent. Now, if you want to buy this TV, then how much SGST? CGST and GST in total will be paid by you. Also calculate the total amount. Now things are little mathematical. There will be some calculation related to percentage. That's it. First of all, taxable value is nothing but the selling price or you can say the purchase price of the product. We can directly calculate 28% of 30,000 which is 8,400 as GST. and this amount can be equally allocated for sgst and cgst as 4200 or we can calculate 14% of 30000 which is 4200 and then same amount can be allocated for cgst because the amount for sgst and cgst are same which in total becomes 8400 as gst so if you want to buy that tv then you will have to pay 30000 plus 8400 gst and in total it becomes 38400 this is how gst is calculated on a product how simple it is no friends sometimes we get some discount offers on the product right now suppose that the shopkeeper is giving you discount of 10% on that tv Can you now calculate the GST and the total amount that has to be paid? GST will be 28% only. That is not going to change. But now the taxable value or the selling price or purchase price of the TV will be minimized by 10%. That is 30,000 minus 3,000, which is 27,000. So the taxable amount becomes 27,000, and now. GST and total price that will be paid by you will be calculated on the basis of 27000 and here is the calculation there is one more case that one can come across is if the shopkeeper is selling a tv for 35000 inclusive of gst then how will you come to know about the taxable value and the gst amount calculations are very easy if we understand the concept can we say that taxable value plus gst is equal to total amount paid by the customer and it seems logical also right this is the key point rest is just the elementary calculations taxable value plus 28% of taxable value which is gst is equal to total amount paid by the customer so i can write taxable value into bracket 1 plus 28 upon 100 which is equal to 35000 and finally we get taxable value equal to 35000 into 100 divided by 128 and when we calculate it we get the taxable value of rupees 27343.75 which is the selling price of the product friends you can use this formula to calculate the taxable value of the product this is how one can calculate gst cgst sgst total amount of the product and also the taxable amount we are not done yet keep in mind one thing that whenever we purchase anything or take any kind of service we get invoice for the same so let's have a look at a gst invoice it is same as any other invoice like it has name address phone number date etc the only new thing that can be seen over here is a unique code called gst in here in refers to the identification number This code is unique for each seller. It contains 15 characters. The first two numbers represent the state code. As 27 is the state code of Maharashtra, 
Similarly, here is a list of all the state codes that says that the firm is registered in a particular state. The next 10 characters are the PAN number of the producer. After that, a number represents the number of registrations with this PAN. Z is uniform for all and the last number is check code to detect errors. Goods and services are classified by codes which are known as HSN and SAC, SAC respectively. There are separate columns for SGST, CGST, GST and total amount. So this is how a GST invoice is made. Before ending up this session, try to complete this GST invoice by filling the blanks. So this is it for today. Meet you in the next session with a new topic, investment where we will see different ways of investment with risks and benefits associated with them. Till then, keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.